Hello, I'm Mr. Diamond of the Crypto Diamond channel, and today we're going over Sonoris, a music discovery and consensus platform running on Web3 and your mobile device. But before I get started, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date with all my crypto content. All right, guys, I do have the homepage pulled up here for you already, sonoris.network. There's really not much to go over on the homepage itself. Sonoris is here, a Web3 protocol to revolutionize how music is published, discovered, and monetized. And it is running on mobile devices here, guys. So we'll be doing a mobile demonstration towards the end of this video. And they do a ranking in heat. And they're going to be going over the tokens later as well. So we're going to do a little breakdown of what heat is. Sonorous Heat Rank. Sonorous Heat Rank is the consensus of music lovers among Sonorous community. The higher a song's heat score ranking, the stronger consensus it represents. And the greater the Rust token yields its supporters receive every day. So this is something you can actually earn just for logging into the phone app itself. I will have an invite code that I'll put in the description of this video. And when you use that code, you can actually log on to the app itself and start collecting these tokens every day. They are crypto, so you can't hold on to them, but they're going to be used to help support your favorite artists and songs and stuff like that, guys. So you can collect music NFTs and earn rust as well. Uh, they're going to be launching an NFT marketplace. It has not yet launched, but it is in the works. This project does not yet have an audit, and that is because the tokens aren't currently launched as well. So I know when I when I in every video I do say look for an audit in a white paper. So you, this one is going to be a little bit higher risk if you're going to be investing into the nodes because they do have have already launched the nodes for sale. We're going more into the nodes as well. So let me pull up what the nodes are. They currently have 1,255 of them sold. And what is a Sonorous DJ node? A Sonorous DJ node grants exclusive access to the forefront of shaping the decentralized music landscape. The unique node empowers its holders to become together in amplifying music discovery and promotion. By being a part of this collective, the DJ node holders play a pivotal role in shaping the direction of our music movement. As the ecosystem evolves and thrives, they stand up and reap the collection of benefits and rewards that come with it. They're currently going for around $600 USDT each which is actually isn't a lot. That's about the same as what the Gala nodes went for when Gala Games was launching their nodes too. I know one of my friends got on board when Gala was throwing their nodes and I think he made a fortune um, off his Gala nodes. I'm not saying you're gonna do that here, um, but they're usually that's usually a good buy-in price, $600. But like I said, there is no audit yet, so this is a high risk investment if you're gonna be risking. Uh, you're gonna wanna do your own research before you invest in any crypto project, guys. So here are the utilities and benefits of owning that node. An enhanced SNS-based governance in the Sonoris network, increased staking rewards, enhanced music nomination power, continuous revenue sharing of the current RUS ecosystem, proof of early support, early airdrops and access privileges, and explore more. Um, so that's pretty much all they have for the DJ node there, guys. I'm going to break down. If you want to learn more about it, they do have more information in the Discord. You're going to want to jump in there. And that's how I was able to verify this project a little bit. And the only reason I'm representing it is they have been in development for almost two years. So I did verify on the Discord how long the people have been working in that Discord server to give it some time frame. So it's not like they just threw this together. So I'm not saying this is going to be a rug pull. But please be cautious when doing your investments here. Because this could be one that could really pay off really well. The higher the risk, the higher the reward. But like I said, this is high risk. So Sonoris, a decentralized music publishing and discovery platform available on both the App Store and Google Play Store. We're going to be seeing it on Google Play at the end of the video because I don't have anything Apple here, guys. So they do have the challenges of the music world today. Artists desperately needed opportunities for independent music publishing. So here's the publishing monopoly. Three major labels, Sony, Warner Brothers and Universal own 75% of the music publishing market. There's a lack of data and transparency due to the monopoly and the nature of Web2. Music publishing data is hard to get and lacks validation. There is low income for artists. On Spotify, artists only earn an average of $400 for every 1 million streams they have. And that's really not a lot. I thought it was going to be a lot more. $400 for 1 million does not seem fair. On-chain music NFT publishing system, publish your music in NFTs and access a large music collector community instantly. So you can upload your original music, let other users sponsor your music with music publishing tickets, then your music NFT is already ready to sell. They've been doing this for a little bit already on different platforms, but now it's starting to go mainstream. I do believe LimeWire is trying to set something up similar to this as well. 
um, if you guys remember LimeWire. But Sonoris has already done this. They've been in research and development for almost two years, getting this all set up, and they're already known in the music world. So Sonoris already has a one up on them right there. Reward mechanism to encourage music discovery by listeners. Let the fans decide what's trending and build music consensus. And I think that's how it should always be anyways. Because uh, some of the songs that got to the top of the charts, I don't understand how they got there. I mean, not, not saying it's... Everybody has their own taste. But sometimes I want to know how the numbers are actually are, are received or given. So they do have their own ranking system. Sonorous Music Heat Rank. Sonorous automatically ranks all the music NFTs based on the number of active copies by holders and the recent new mints. So if you want a copy of the song, you'll mint that NFT of that song and you actually own that. So you'll have that song forever. Um, that's the one good thing with NFTs. Um, so they can actually bring ownership and that's how they're going to see how the artists are performing as well. Because the more NFTs that are minted, that means that that artist is doing performing pretty well because people actually want to own copies of that song that that artist has created. And you also get daily rewards. The higher a song ranks, the more rewards NFT holders can collect every day. And like I said, just for accessing that app, when once you get into that app, that when you set it up here after the video, you will actually be able to get those tokens on a daily basis. You literally just open up the app, listen to different songs, and collect the rewards, guys. It's that simple. Discover better music. Because of the Sonorous Rewards mechanism, listens, listeners are encouraged to find and collect better music. And who doesn't want better music? There are some core advantages over traditional music publishing as well. You get more income. Without traditional music labels as a middleman in publishing, artists can earn much more from their music works. You get instant payment compared to the three to six month settlement period in the traditional way. Sonorous makes sure that artists get their shares instantly. There's also full transparency. Sonorous fully runs on the blockchain using smart contracts, which gives everyone full visibility to music publishing data. Better fan engagement. Sonorous helps fans mobilize to support their favorite music and artists and let both parties benefit in the process. So you're also gonna get the fan base there. So if you're an artist looking at this video and you're thinking about making some music, you also get better fan engagement because it helps get your name out there as well. Here's what they've already achieved. Version 3.1 has already been launched. There's already 200,000 registered users globally. They have 850,000 Twitter followers, and they also have major investments by Hashkey, Mask, M77, Formless, NCT, and Atlas. A couple more things before I close out this video, and you go ahead and get your DJ node. They are currently going for around $600, like I said, but these nodes or something you're going to want to own if you want to get some good money flow in the future. Make sure you do your own research before buying one of these nodes. And like I said, it is a high risk investment. All right, we have the white paper pulled up here, guys. They do have an introduction. We're going to go past that here to the second introduction. We're happy to introduce you to the launch campaign platform that's changing the way exceptional music reaches the world. The mechanisms are simple on LCP. Create a campaign to nominate the songs you love. All users can express their support by burning Rust tokens. If succeeded, all users can invest in your nominated songs on the Sonorous app. You can earn part of the user's investment when they issue songs as well. And then you can go ahead and sign up on the platform. And this is what it looks like when you sign up. I actually already have the platform pulled up as well. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like here, guys. All right, and now we're into the campaign management platform. As you can see here, you can have the total in progress and launched. And then you also have the earning dashboard, which breaks down your earnings of any campaigns that you have running at the moment, claimable earnings, creative time, song, what have you. Then they also have the creator guidebook as well. So if you click on that, it takes you to how to actually go ahead and start creating everything. And there it is. It brings you to the white paper. So Sonorous is a Web3 protocol to revolutionize how music is published, discovered, and monetized. It just breaks down the entire way of how this project works. Anything you want to know and including the tokens here they are let me pull up the tokens here for you like i said earlier so you get your daily record nft token yield so if you do have a record nft you have a daily token amount that you're going to receive in order to encourage continuous support of the music works that sonorous community chooses for each active copy of the music record nft the owner is entitled to collect a certain amount of rust to rewards every day so that means the more nfts that are printed for that one song that, that artist makes the more money they make as people go and print those off on a daily basis they're not just getting paid that one time they're getting paid on a daily rewarded system 
kind of cool because that means that's kind of like royalties. They're going to continuously grow, make more music, and that helps keep their steady income flowing as well. They have a dynamic daily yield amount as well. So total active copy score. Each active copy of record entities held by any Sonorous user counts as one point towards the total active record score. Then the last seven day newly issued record score to reflect more recent popularity of the songs. If a song's newly issued copy of record NFTs in the last seven days exceed 10 copies, each new copy of the last seven days counts towards five points. So there, as you see, there are more prints they're getting of NFTs, the more points they're getting, but there's also a negative side to this as well. So if a song's newly issued copy of record NFTs last seven days do not exceed 10 copies each day since the song was published counts as negative 10 points so if they stop selling or they just don't sell at all they start getting a negative score and i think this is going to work really well it's going to suck for the underdogs you're going to have to try a little bit harder but it's going to help eliminate bad music and music that's just been overplayed because you've, you've all heard the songs on the radios that have just been played no, and played no, and played please, and played no, to the point where no. you just don't want to hear it anymore no. And they should have just lost points a long time ago. This is going to help keep that from happening. You can also boost a score. Any user can boost a song's heat score with the Rust tokens. For every three Rust tokens used to boost, they will add one point towards the total score. Only those who Rust used to boost today will be counted. So the Rust token, like I said, those will be the tokens you get just for logging in every day. Pretty sure you could buy some once they actually launch in the market. But we will take three of those tokens to add one point to your favorite artist to keep their income coming as well. They do have ranking rules. They can go over the record player NFTs as well. And then the music record and the tokenomics. And then we're gonna go ahead and close this out, guys. So the record player NFT, what is a record player? A record player in Sonorous is an NFT that allows users to host their records and earn rewards. Users have to hold at least one record player to start earning. All right, these are NFTs, guys, and they do have a breakdown here. Um, you can upgrade them so the more record players you have the more music you can play so they go anywhere from level one through level six with a copy capacity right there so you can, with a level one you can do 10 copies with a level six you can do 2,000 copies but you can also upgrade these record players to do a lot more than what they currently do so the upgrade cost for level one is 700 rus level two 1500 Level 3, 7,500. Level 4, 14,000. And level 5 would be 25,000. So the higher the ranking there, guys, obviously, as you see, the more it's going to cost you. Then they also have record player levels. We went through that already. And then they got the music record NFTs, which, which what you're going to need to play on the records. All right, so what is a music record NFT? A music record NFT is a Sonorous is a BP, BEP1155 token that represents the one's on-chain support to a piece of music. Each copy of the music record NFT, while being placed on an active record player, grants owners the right to collect daily Rust token yields and rewards for supporting the song, while increase the song's total heat score. <clears throat> so this actually helps you earn revenue for playing it on the record. And as you can see, like I said, with the record player, the more levels you have the more copies of that music you can have going out making your income a lot higher on a daily basis which comes down to the tokenomics they don't really have too much on the tokenomics page yet but like i said they're not actually launched on the marketplace but you can start earning these right now with the app all right and that's pretty much all i have for this as of right now guys i am going to go ahead and play the demonstration of that phone app right now all right we're going to open up the sonorous app here on the android phone Opens up really quick, easy to access. No passwords required. As you can see, it opens right up to record ranking. You can see the Sonorous Heat rank right there. It's the first thing you see. And all the songs in order of the ranks as well. And we have number one here, Kuru Von Kipkong, who's already sold 1,345 copies at a price of 289 Russ a copy. So he's making some good money. As you can see with the artist as well, it shows the current heat score. You can boost them right there on the app if you hit that boost button with the rest you currently have. It has the average active copy yield. It has a nice little graph chart right there for you guys. And you can come to scroll a little bit further down. It goes into the trade history and breaks up all that for you as well. And the time it's been bought and sold right there. Then you have the watch list, which there's nothing currently on the watch list. You can see what's new. You can see, like I said, Karo Van Kip Kong, but you have a lot of new songs on the charts here as well, ranging in different prices of rust, some low, some higher. 
And you also have the recent trades as well. And you can check those out. You just click on it and it breaks it down right there for you too. And this has a negative heat score like we were talking about before, which means they're not selling any copies. So they're dropping in popularity and value right there. And that's that negative stuff we were talking about, which, which helps get rid of the bad music anyways. Then you also have the, if you come to the bottom part of the app here and click on top collectors, you can see the top three collectors there. One was 13,005K. 8.5k and 8.19k so they're all doing pretty well in the charts here that's a lot of loot guys they're making some good money making some music with no middleman taking the profits off the top if you click on the market section right here you can go ahead and buy rust and sell rust right from your cell phone it tells you what the current price is what it's trading for if you click on buy it'll have you go buy right there and you're gonna buy it in binance bnb token and if you're gonna sell it's gonna sell and it's gonna pay you in bnb token and then last thing you have is the asset and that's for you to click on to get your daily reward and every day you come back on here and collect that rust token but you're going to need some bnb to pay for the gas to collect which you do get 20 rust tokens every day that you log on um, so that could be profitable in the future uh, because you're getting free tokens as of right now just for just for logging on and they're not on the market yet so we don't know what the exact value is but that's everything i have to show you on the app as you can see let's jump back into the video All right, now that you get to see the demonstration of Sonaris on the phone, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on the Crypto Diamond Discord, Crypto Diamond Facebook, or the Crypto Diamond Telegram, and everybody have a great day trading. Goodbye.